Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common question that many C++ developers encounter. Our viewer asks, is it a good idea to return a std vector using std move? Let's break this down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's, get let's address the question of returning a std vector using stmove. First, it's important to understand what stdmove does. In the provided code, we have a function that creates a std vector of type A, fills it, and then attempts to return it using std move. However, returning a local std vector by std move is not a good idea. This is because the vector will be destroyed at the end of the function, leading to undefined behavior. Instead, you should return the vector directly. C++11 and later versions optimize this with move semantics automatically. This principle applies to other containers like std map and std list as well. Always return them directly to ensure safety and efficiency. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Returning a std vector with std move is not recommended. It can prevent copy elision in some cases, and some compilers even issue a warning about it. Instead, just return the vector by value. Change the return type to std vector A and the compiler will handle the move constructor automatically when needed. For more details, check out a detailed post on this topic. The link is in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When returning a step vector, both GCC and Clang compilers optimize the code similarly, whether you use to move or just return the value directly, so it's often fine to simply return the value. However, if you're creating a custom class with move constructors and move assignment operators, using and and no accept can be beneficial. And that's it guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.